Hello, this is Lisa Farm Brilliance, and today, love is in the air with this simple and elegant love and a heart embroidery design created from a cut file from lovesvg.com. We adore how easy it was to create this design using Embrilliant Stitch Artist. It is perfect for so many thoughtful and romantic occasions. Let me show you how I created it. From Create Mode in Stitch Artist, I will choose to import a vector file and select the Love and Heart SVG and have it open into my design page. First, let's take a look at the object pane. We can expand the design to see that the beauty of bringing in an SVG into Stitch Artist 2 is that all of the cutting lines are actual drawn objects. We will get back to this in just a bit, but first, let's go to the display pane. I have a specific application in mind, so I will rotate and size the objects to fit my hoop using the sizing and rotating handles on the selection. Remember that to use the center green selector while you are in create mode to move your selection in the design page. Let's go back to the object pane to look at the objects that have been created from the imported SVG. A cut file has each cutting line listed as a separate object. To cut vinyl or paper, the cutting machine uses each of these objects as a road map for where the blade needs to trace so that the end result of machine cutting is a heart with holes in the word love. In this example, all of the cutting lines merged together would be the exterior edges of a satin column, so we need to combine all of these cutting lines to form one object before we can apply our column satin stitch. Select all of the objects and go to the Create menu and choose Outline, Combine Holes. You can also right click on the selected objects in the display pane and choose Combine Holes from the pop-up menu. Your object pane now lists one object that we will apply a satin column to. This is a rather complicated looping object that we are asking the software to create stitches for. Intersections can cause confusion, as the software does not always see the objects in the same way that we as artists see the letters being drawn and pathed. So the first step we would need to take is to change the stitch color. This will help us see what we are working on and what needs to be adjusted. Zoom in on the lettering to see a couple of areas that we would want to adjust in order to create a ribbon-like path, just like you would envision with calligraphy style writing. In order to accomplish this flowing column of stitches, we need to break up the single object into smaller ones. Let's turn off the stitch display so that we can clearly see the nodes of the object we are working on. There are two types of breaking that you may have to do when you have areas that you want to ensure overlap and have the stitch directions that you want. The first type of breaking is a cross from one outside edge to another outside edge. To accomplish this, we select two nodes, right click, and choose Break Across. I like to remove extra nodes by double clicking and reshape the end so that it will butt up against the object it was just broken from. The second type of break is done between nodes of an outside edge and connect to a hole. This will eliminate the hole in the object. When you select the two nodes and right click, choose connect to hole and again you can reshape and remove nodes. Continue breaking the larger object into smaller sections. When you apply your satin column to these new and simplified objects, you may add inclinations that will direct the angle of the stitches so that they stitch exactly as you want them to. It does not matter how many objects you create to get the final design that you want. Some shapes and objects may need to be adjusted to look better as stitched shapes. Call upon your embroidery experience to make these artistic choices. As a digitizer, you are the artist and have control over the resulting stitch file. The objects of vinyl and paper cut files may not translate exactly into embroidery stitches with one click, but you can see how easy it is to edit existing vector shapes in Stitch Artist to create an embroidery design based upon a cutting file. 
Now that we have finished the digitizing, it's time to go back to the object pane and make sure that our stitching order makes sense. We don't want to have extra jumps going from one end of the design to the next. We also want to move the start and stop of each object so that the starting stitch of one is next to the exiting stitch of the previous. This is a connecting design and we need to make sure that it stitches that way. If the objects are touching and are the same thread color, once we adjust the stitching order and move our entry exit points, the resulting stitch file will be one continuous design without jump stitches. And this is how you can create an embroidery design from a cut file using Stitch Artist Level 2. Be sure to visit the Embrilliance YouTube channel for videos on each of our programs.